How do PlayStation VR games look on the PlayStation 4 Pro? This is the Raptor News Reactions on the latest game news brought to you by Heise.de. Got a Google Translate running, so we understand what this German website is meaning. Let's look at some comparison screenshots because it's super interesting that the PlayStation 4 Pro games uh, or PSVR games look way better on the PS4 Pro. Let's take a look, for example, at Robins on the Journey, a game from Crytek here. And yeah, they made this dinosaur world where you follow a sort of ghost from Destiny. You got this weird thing in your hand. As you can see here, it all looks pretty blurry and the colors are kind of dark. If we go to the PlayStation 4 Pro screenshot, it's way brighter. We see green everywhere. We see the colors are way, yeah, you can see them way better in this PlayStation 4 Pro version. And also we have this ghost, of course, watching. Um, yeah, his eye is way bluer, as you can see here. So that's super awesome. The whole area looks way better. This rub is on the journey. So what does the website say? Crytek used the double render resolution. So that's what's super interesting. Uh, with uh, the PlayStation 4 Pro, the VR developers got double resolution. To, yeah, so for example, Farpoint, the developer already said that. That on the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation 4 Pro, you got like double the resolution so yeah that should make games way more better looking of course um, the glove look way more uh, much looks much crisp a color look more powerful of course Google Translate is like really killing this English here generally the picture is more accurately rendered in the middle than at the edge of the image so that's super interesting then we go to battle zone we see a trend that we will see in the other screenshot that I got to show you as well. It's way, it's pretty dark here. It's like only black. What the website says, super interesting, cannot see any dynamic reflections. So if we go to the PlayStation 4 Pro cockpit from Battlezone, uh, of course in this game you play in a tank, so you sit in the cockpit. Um, it's, yeah, you see like it's way brighter again. Um, we see different colors uh, where here it was like all black here it's like a little white here um, the environments that's what the websites say uh, are hardly changed apparently it does not use the higher resolution rendering so the environments look still like the PlayStation 4 version but yeah the whole cockpit that you see like all the time looks way way better let's look at a game that I played oh yeah that I played on PlayStation VR and really loved was pretty short though London Heights from PlayStation VR Worlds you see here a pretty dark car and um, yeah of course you're here getting chased by guys on the side uh, motorcycles need to shoot them down well it's super dark if we go to the place for pro version it was like oh my god is this red is this white I didn't even notice it's like insane it's the same part of the level it's just way brighter we see way more colors this guy that's next to you yeah, you see more blood on his face it's like pretty insane the, yeah how much this like yeah the comparison is well with normal ps4 games they already look like pretty awesome and then to see them on a 4k screen okay that blows you away but PlayStation VR is pretty significant the difference so probably Sony like made this PlayStation 4 Pro console to compete with like the HTC Vive and the Oculus because of course those run on like monster PCs and with the PlayStation 4 the only thing that kind of breaks the experience is yeah the graphics they, they, they are not very good but with the PlayStation 4 Pro they look way way better so that's super interesting and maybe also why they made this uh, console in the first place I mean 4k TVs of course they yeah want to push that but still yeah, to also have this PlayStation VR thing going makes also a lot of sense. And why didn't they talk about this during their PlayStation press conference? Well, probably because the PlayStation VR was coming out like one month after this press conference. And then they would be like, oh, here you have the PlayStation VR on the normal PS4. Here you have the PlayStation VR on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Wow, it looks way better, right? Then all the people would be like, okay, I'm not planning to buy a PS4 Pro. And I want to play my PSVR, but it looks way better over here. Why should I jump? Why should I buy the PlayVR now? Let's just wait till I get the PS4 Pro eventually. Something like that might happen. Anyway, 
that's my take on the PlayStation VR games on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Let me know yours, a reaction in the comments down below. What's interesting to note is that I will go and check out the PlayStation 4 Pro on Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe to the channel to check my impressions. Hopefully I will try some PSVR games because Watch Dogs 2 on a 4K screen looks awesome, but on my PS4 on a 1080p screen looks probably awesome as well. So really want to try the VR things that are going on there. Hopefully they have some. Anyway, like the video if you did. I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.